it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about subtracting mixed measures. Hey, we've done adding mixed measures. We've got to balance it out by doing subtracting mixed measures. It's pretty simple, but when we're subtracting, there's always certain things we need to look out for. Take a look at this problem. Here we have 32 pounds, 4 ounces. Subtract 17 pounds, 11 ounces. So when we go to subtract, you know how you remember how to do this is we do them individually, right? Let's handle the ounces, then we're going to handle the pounds. We have a problem with the ounces, don't we? Can't take 11 from 4, so we have to regroup, okay? So which means we're going to cross out our 32. It's going to go down to 31, but we're going to bring one pound over to our ounces. But we need to convert it into ounces first. Well, one pound is 16 ounces. So we're going to add 16 to this four, and that's going to be a total of 20 ounces. Now we can do our subtraction. 20 minus 11 is nine ounces. Now let's go over to our pounds. 31 minus 17 is going to be 14 pounds. Okay, and that's the process. You just make sure you do a little regrouping and then carry on as normal. Let's try it with a problem with feet and inches. So we've got 6 feet 3 inches, subtract 4 feet 8 inches. And you can see when we go to subtract the inches, we've got an issue. We need to regroup. So let's take a foot from our 6 feet, we go down to 5 feet. And we're going to bring over one foot, but we need to convert it to inches. One foot equals 12 inches, so we're bringing over 12. But there's three there already, so let's add it to that three, and that's going to be a 15 inches. Now we can subtract. 15 minus 8 is going to be 7. 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. 1 foot 7 inches is your answer. I couldn't leave you without giving you a problem that had three mixed measures. So we had got seconds, minutes, and hours. The process is still the same. You see, 15 and 20, we have an issue, so what do we do? We regroup. We're going to take some minutes and bring it over to the seconds. Cross out our 12, it goes to 11. But we're bringing over one minute, we're going to convert it. Let's convert it to 60 seconds. Hey, cross out my 60, well, cross out my 60 and my 15, I'm adding those together, and we get 75 seconds. Let me repeat that because I said that kind of fast. I brought 60 over, I added 60 to my already 15, now I've got 75. Now I can subtract. 75 minus 20 is 55 seconds. So we're done with the seconds. Let's move on to the minutes. And you see we have the same problem, don't we? 42 from 11, hmm, we have an issue, let's regroup. Cross out our 10, make it 9, bring 1 over, we're going to convert it to minutes. Well, we know that one hour is 60 minutes. So let's add 60 to the 11 that's there, which gives us 71. I know it's getting messy, but I'm going to highlight it just so you can see it. 71 subtract 42. <coughs> so that's going to be, uh, is that 29, 9, 10, 11? Yes, 29 minutes. Now let's handle the hours. 9 minus 3 is 6. So our answer, 6 hours, 29 minutes, 55 seconds. So as you see, the process is you look to see if you can subtract. If you can't, regroup, convert, and then proceed. That's it. Definitely try the practice problem so you can do this on your own. That's it for me, Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.